What's up guys? So now we're going to be talking about functions and the vertical line test. And I wrote out the two examples that we did in the previous video when we talked about relations. I only wrote out the mapping diagram and the graphs. And that's because I'm going to be using these examples to better explain these concepts of a function and a vertical line test. And it will just help you see it a lot better. Now, relations what we discussed in the previous video can either be something called a function or they are not a function. Now what does a function exactly mean? Well a function basically means that there is one dependent variable in the relation for every independent variable. A more simple way to say this is that there is one y value for every x value and a non-function has multiple dependent variables for any independent variable so or multiple y values for any of the x values. So let's look at the two relations that we have here from the previous video and figure out which one is a function and which one is a non-function. So this first example Notice how for every independent variable, remember the hours are the independent variable, there is only one corresponding dependent variable, the marks. All right, so for every x value, there's only one y value. That means that this example here is a function. Now looking at our second relation, Notice how this 10, this independent variable 10, has multiple dependent variables attached to it. It has this 165 and this 167.5. So right away, we know that this example here is not a function. And notice how only one of the independent variables has to have multiple dependent variables. The other independent variables, they all have one corresponding dependent variable. But only because of this 10, since it has multiple dependent variables, right away we know that it's not a function. Another tool that you can use to determine whether a relation is a function or a non-function is something called the vertical line test. Now the vertical line test only works when you have the graph of a relation. And it basically states that if a vertical line touches the graph of a relation more than once, it is not a function. So what do we mean by that? Well, if you take a vertical line and you run it through the graph of a relation, notice how in this graph, you're only touching each point once. There is no point on the graph where you'll have the vertical line touching two parts of the graph or more. All right, so we know that this relation here is a function. However, in this graph of this relation, when we run a vertical line through it, notice how at this x value of 10, the vertical line touches the graph more than once. It touches it at two points. So right away we know that this relation does not pass the vertical line test and it's a non-function. And the intuition is pretty simple. If there are multiple points touching a vertical line of a graph, then you know that there are multiple y values for that single x value. And as we stated before, that means that that relation would not be a function.